Welcome back to the Barcelona and the 2012 470 World Championships. 15 knot winds were forecast for the day and the weather lived up to expectations. The breeze was building all morning. And this second day of the championship delivered perfect racing conditions. All fleets left the shore around 1100 hours. The increasing breeze and waves made the racetrack challenging. The conditions differed completely from yesterday's light airs, with the athletes needing their racing style and boat tuning. In the first race of the day, in the first start for the 470 men blue fleet, the team of Ogrodnik and Choroba from Poland and Tour and Gayard from Spain picked the right-hand side of the start line. But with many of the rest of the fleet over the line, there was a general recall. In the second start, Germany's Gers and Fulman and Croatia's Fantela and Marenitz were at the pin end, but neither had a good start. At the other end of the line, the Aussies had to tack immediately after the start and headed to the right side. Finally, it was Croatia's sailors who rounded the downwind mark first, followed a few meters behind by the Germans. USA's McNay and Beale had a less than successful rounding. So, could they manage to threaten the crews from Germany and Croatia? The 470 men Red Fleet were the last to start, and once again, with many boats over the line, there was a general recall. When the race did get underway, Francis Sarbonnier and Mion had the best start on the pin end. Many French sailors are in the top 10, as they relish the conditions Barcelona delivered today. Well, maybe not for Bouvet and Guillaume. On top of a terrible start, they had problems with the spinnaker while rounding the downwind mark. Meanwhile, in the Yellow Fleet, the day belonged to Australia's Matt Belcher, Malcolm Page, who won each of the day's three races. The Aussies in first place, retaining their safe distance from the Greeks. But both teams remain in great shape and can certainly lay claim to the gold medal. They are followed by Snow and Saunders from New Zealand and Lefebvre and Kroll from Holland. In the last reach, the Dutch gave it their all to steal the place from the Kiwis, but they finally didn't. The two girls' fleets were racing on the more northerly course Area Alpha. In the second race of the day, in the blue fleet, Westerhoff and Berkout took the lead during the downwind, having passed the defending world champions from Spain. The Dutch pair were so fast on the downwind and just extended their lead, rounding the downwind mark with the Spanish far behind. France's team of Le Crant and Geron, who were recently confirmed to the Olympics, were in third with Great Britain's Mills and Clark in fourth. This would prove to be a tough upwind for all the top four. The Dutch continued to control the race, rounded the downwind mark first and kept their speed on a really fast reach. The Spanish had to settle for second place, with the French and the Kiwis third and fourth, respectively. It was a full-on and challenging day, with three races for all the fleets in demanding conditions. After four races for all fleets, the leaderboard is shaping up well with nine different nations in both the 470 men and women top 10. Be sure to join us tomorrow.